The Emperor's New Clothes Once upon a time, there was a vain emperor who loved clothes. He made sure he always looked splendid all the time and had a different outfit for every day of the year. One day, two strangers came to town, stating they were weavers and that they could manufacture the finest clothing that could ever be imagined. The word spread quickly and came to the emperor's ears. If they can truly make wonderful clothes, I want to meet them, the emperor said. And so the emperor's footman arranged a meeting with the two strangers. A little round man and a long thin man arrived at the palace, and they bowed before the emperor. Slimus and slick at your service, your highness, they said. I hear you make wonderful clothes. Is it true, the emperor asked. Oh, yes, not only wonderful clothes, but magical clothes, your majesty, Slimus said. Only clever people can see them. Stupid people can't. I have no magical clothes, the emperor thought. I need to have them. Are the clothes splendid, the emperor asked. Oh, very splendid, your highness, Slick replied, but very expensive, as you can well imagine. Take all the gold you want, cried the emperor. Just make me those clothes. One week later, Slimus and Slick returned to the palace to show the emperor the clothes they had made. Here are your beautiful clothes, your majesty. Don't they look splendid? The emperor and all his footmen gulped because they couldn't see a thing. None of them wanted to seem stupid. So when the emperor said, Splendid! They are splendid! All his footmen agreed. Oh, yes, your majesty, these are by far your most splendid clothes. The emperor decided to wear his magical clothes to the royal procession that very day. Here is your cloak, said Slimus. It's as light as a feather. Oh, your highness, your clothes fit you so well, added Slick. The emperor admired himself in the mirror. Don't I look magnificent? People will talk about me for years to come. Yes, your majesty, everyone agreed, staring at the emperor. Open the palace gates, ordered the emperor, and let the royal procession begin. The crowd gasped when they saw the emperor. Everyone had heard that only clever people could see his clothes, so everyone cried out, How splendid His Majesty looks in his new clothes, and look how well they fit! Of course, no one could see the clothes, but none of them would admit that, because no one wanted to declare himself a fool. Until a small child cried out, The Emperor has no clothes on! Then Everyone looked at each other and began laughing out loud. <laughs> the emperor has no clothes on. The emperor realized he had been fooled by Slick and Slimus and that he was indeed naked. He blushed bright red, but thought it was better to continue the procession under the illusion that anyone who couldn't see his clothes was a fool. He walked stiffly, while behind him a page held his imaginary mantle. As for Slick and Slimus, they had disappeared with all of the gold, never to be seen again. But at least one thing turned out, as predicted by the Emperor. People did talk about him for years to come. The End